Happy July, everyone. Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Happy July everyone! You guys already know it's a new month so we are back with another reset video. I am so excited for July you guys. I'm so excited to be home this month and to be filming another reset video. This whole summer my motto is hashtag happy girl summer. Focusing on ourselves and our happiness and it's gonna be a great time. We're gonna do it together. But before we officially start talking about July, let's just talk about June for a little bit. You know do a mini recap. I don't know about you guys but personally I loved June. Like it was such a good month. So much stuff happened like it was very busy let me say that the first few weeks of my june was very jam-packed because of farewell senior season so i was trying to pump out like a bunch of content and you know just film all of my last moments of senior year see, like prom class comp all the senior days like decision day reduction day and then of course my graduation so it was a very exciting time and honestly i still can't believe that i'm fully graduated like i don't know why it just hasn't fully processed that i'm just like done with high school but of course if you haven't watched all of the episodes of farewell senior season you can find them on my channel i'll link the playlist down below but I don't know if you guys want to watch school content because it's officially summer now. Happy summer. Literally two days after I graduated, we went straight to Paris. And as you guys know, it was literally like my dream grad trip come true. So magical. So special. Seriously, it was just so amazing. So I was very grateful that I got to experience it with my family. And then we came home for about, I think it was two days. And then we went straight to VidCon. And VidCon was also amazing. I got to be a part of so many cool things and also create a lot of amazing connections. So overall, June was just so amazing. I will say though, I feel like I haven't really gone to do like my summer reset though just because when I did get home from Paris I like unpacked my bags and then packed them again to go to VidCon and as much as I love traveling and like being away I've also missed just being home and like being back in my routine so here we are happy July everyone I decided for this reset video just to take you guys along like a little day in my life because we got a lot to do coming back from traveling and everything so welcome to my official summer refresh if you guys have been needing a little reset to come along with me and do some of the same things but I know I'm ready for an amazing July and I hope you guys are too. So enough rambling. Let's get into this reset video. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, time to get this day started. I've already had a really good morning so far. First of all, I slept in. Love to hear it. I slept in until 11, which was so nice. Last night I hung out with my friends, so I ended up going to bed around like midnight. So I got 11 hours of sleep. And let me tell y'all, it's literally the best feeling going to bed and not having to worry about like waking up to an alarm or like getting up early for school. I think that's my favorite thing about summer at the moment is just being able to get good sleep and like catch up on a good sleep schedule. Especially too because in Paris we had like an eight or nine hour time difference so lately my sleep schedule has just been like whack but feeling good starting off this summer reset by getting good sleep. but you guys already know I had to set a to-do list for myself for the day not gonna lie we do have a good amount of stuff to check off but it's okay I believe in us we could do I it. I also did my morning habits for the day so I made my bed drink water did my journaling and then bible studying I will say I have not been on my game with that lately just because like with traveling and stuff it's kind of hard to keep up with things that I usually do at home I actually I was good on my bible studying app like I still have my street going but with like journaling and like drinking water I've definitely been off my game so I'm happy to be back home and really implementing my habits it's so important to make sure all of these habits are very accessible to you so I think what's helping me get back into my routine obviously is like having them at my nightstand again because I think I brought my journal to Paris but since like we were always go 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 and like busy with stuff there I just like forgot to take it out of my bag and like do a journal entry real quick so now that I'm back home having like my water bottle and my journal and then my phone for my bible app is just getting me back into the routine and it's great my bible app right now of course i still do like the daily refresh so i do verse of the day guided scripture and guided prayer and then i'm also doing a plan right now it's called create and activate and i love my bible app because it comes with a bunch of these where you read like different devotionals and verses and it all pertains to this one category that you can choose so definitely recommend holy bible app by Version, my favorite app ever but yeah we got those habits out of the way so already started checking off things off my to-do list but now it is time to get some movement in so i did a slick back ponytail this morning trying to achieve that clean girl aesthetic and then I'm also in some workout clothes right now. But let's head to the garage and we're gonna do some dancing. All right, welcome to my garage. Here is the 411. So if you didn't know, I made the dance team at the college I'm attending, San Diego State University. So in order to prepare for the upcoming season, we've been having to do summer workouts and then also dances. So within the past few weeks, I've been finding time to just go into my garage with like my laptop and my water in order to learn the dances and then turn them in. We have like summer buddies that we check in with and update and then also make sure that we're on track with everything. But you guys, it's 
literally so exciting. I have some dance camps with the team coming up like right around the corner and then I literally move in in like less than two months. Like it's getting so real and I'm so excited for college but this summer I'm definitely taking to like prepare and like get my body ready for the season. But yeah, today I have three dances to learn and turn in so I just put on my pink hoka and we're gonna get these dances done. I'm also gonna do some stretching first and then we'll get the dances done. So here we go. <laughs> Success! I got my three dances in. I'm just gonna upload them and turn them in right now. I made like a little Dropbox folder for my buddy to watch. But I'm feeling good. I got kind of a little bit of a sweat in, but after these upload, then I'm gonna get ready for the gym. It's gym time, baby! I got my gym bag, got my water, and we are off to the gym! My favorite place. Obviously, June was not in the gym that much just because we were traveling. There's a lot going on. I would wake up early, but it was probably to edit. So I wasn't on my gym grind as much as I wanted to in June, but July, we're going basically every day, baby. If you need some gym motivation, this is what I tell myself. Get up and go, girl. You're gonna feel so good, and not only when you're at the gym, but also after the gym. When you finish your workout, you're gonna feel like refreshed, you're gonna feel strong, and you're gonna feel accomplished. Put on a cute gym outfit, play some good music, and have a good workout. Achieve that happy girl summer, and get some exercise, get moving, go to the gym, all that good stuff. Okay, but seriously, I mean, I feel like I've talked about this so many times on my channel, but the gym just makes me so, so happy. Not only am I taking care of my physical, but also my mental health. If you're ever anxious or stressed, literally one of the best ways to feel better is to get your body moving and exercising so I'm definitely trying to make it a priority during the summertime to get my daily exercise in and not only to prepare for the dance team and like make sure my body's in check but also just because it makes me feel so much better and like I said happy girl summer so today I'm gonna do some cardio and abs I went the past two days two days ago I did upper body and then yesterday I did legs so we're finishing out the split and we're doing cardio and abs today from the dance team they actually send workouts that we can do or we can do our own so sometimes I'll like switch it up and do the ones that they send or Sometimes I'll just do the ones I've been doing for like a while now. And you guys, let me tell you, I'm looking proud of my gym progress. I've been going to the gym like pretty consistently. Like even if I'm not on my gym grind as much like during certain months just because I get a little busy, I'm still going pretty frequently and still getting exercise in. And I'm actually, and I'm seeing progress. I've been going since what, like October? October of last year I think is when I started, is like when I got my gym membership. But it feels like so rewarding when you can actually see the progress on your body. Like arms are getting toned, legs are getting toned. My abs used to be very defined especially when I was younger because I would dance like every single day and like now I'm seeing them again and it just like makes me happy so that's also motivation like seeing that your hard work at the gym is paying off it's like keep going keep going keep working at it it feels great so yeah we're gonna have a great workout today I'll probably do like an ab circuit and then also one or two miles on the treadmill I also want to go into the sauna for a little bit too because that's also one of my favorite places so let's go let's have a great workout boom boom bang <laughs> clean there's like no one here when I go I swear there's maybe like two other people working out like it's so good and then like the sauna is just so relaxing I'll literally go in the sauna every time after I work out just because I usually like to go pretty hard with my workouts so then being in the sauna is just so relaxing but yeah my workout is complete for the day I my dances got my workout in we're chilling but I'm actually meeting up with my friends right now at beach bowls we all wanted to get acai bowls well I was supposed to be there two minutes ago so <laughs> let's head there now I'm gonna call beach bowls right now and just place my order over the phone so it'll be Ready when I get there. Hi, can I order for pickup? Yeah, we're gonna get for you. Can I have a regular chocolate peanut butter bowl with strawberries and bananas, please? Anything else for you? No, that'll be it. Nicole. Give us about 
Okay, thank you so much. Okay, bye. Yummy! I'm so excited. I haven't had a beach ball in a really long time. It's been like a month or two because we've been gone. But if you all know, you know. I love acai bowls with my whole heart. <laughs> but I ordered a chocolate peanut butter bowl and it has protein. And lately I've been trying to stack up on my protein. And I'll actually I'll show you like some of the snacks and like drinks I've been getting lately because I found some yummy ones. So but I'm so excited to see my friends. Well I just hung out with them last night, but now that it's summer, like we can really just do whatever we want. I mean not like whatever we want, but like obviously during the school year we were limited. Lim what the heck did I say? Limited to like time or like the things that we could do. But now it's so nice because our schedules are more free. Oh, and we may or may not be going on a little girls trip later this month. So that's exciting. But yeah, I think we're only going to hang out for like an hour or two. So we'll probably just get our bowls and like eat in the car or something. See you guys at Beach Bowls. Okay guys, time to grub. The girlies are back together. Wait, this is so weird. This is the first vlog that you guys are in. Yeah, since senior year. Guys, we're not seniors anymore. We're not seniors. High school. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so windy. Do you guys have any advice in order to have happy girl summer? Protect your peace. Period. Love to hear it. Okay, we're mobbing my car. Cheers. Mm, 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 mm. Flip. All right, guys, I'm back home. I was just petting Sadie for a little bit. She's been so cuddly lately. I love her so much, but mom is currently watching Friends on the TV. Mom, say hi to the ball. Hi. <laughs> but before I forget, I wanted to show you guys the protein like drinks and snacks that I've been eating lately Because I feel like if I don't do it now, I'm just gonna forget So first things first, protein shake I've showed these on my channel before and they're so yummy We keep them in the mini fridge in our pool room But these are the Fairlife 30 grams of protein chocolate shakes They're so good, it literally tastes like chocolate milk I'm gonna have one right now actually And 30 grams, it's crazy I can finish them in like two seconds Like I just chug them real quick So I've been having one of these Not every single day because I'm not gonna lie It's kind of expensive and hard to maintain that But I've been drinking them pretty often and then usually with that i'll have a bear bell but these are the cookies and cream protein bars and they have 20 grams of protein so good i haven't tried any other flavors but the cookies and cream one is really good so maybe i'll try some other ones too okay and then two other little snacks i've gotten i actually haven't fully tried these yet but i've heard they're really good so i got the legendary pop tarts and these are also 20 grams of protein and then also these quest chips loaded taco flavor and they're 19 grams of protein so Lots of protein to choose from. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any like protein snacks or drinks that you like. Obviously, the best way to get protein is from like steak or chicken. Yeah, like actual meat, but these are very good options to have. So I think right now I'm gonna have a fair life and a protein bar. Again, it takes me like five minutes to eat this. So yeah, I'm gonna cuddle Sadie some more. Look, she's just in the bean bag. Hi, hi, she's so cute. Mm. Mm. Say hi to the vlog. Say happy summer. Happy summer, huh? Why are you so cute though? You're so cute. It's tanning time. I just checked the weather and the UV and it's so nice out today. So I was like, let's go into the backyard and tan. And look how pretty the pool and the aquarium looks. I call our little like ocean mirror over there. I call it the aquarium. It's so cute. Okay, but I put on a suit. I put on my little SSU hat and I just grabbed a towel and water. The UV is like 10 right now, which is chef's kiss. So I'll probably just like lay here for a little bit. I have some YouTube videos to catch up on. Oh, and then on Netflix, I'm currently watching the DCC documentary about the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. So I have like one or two episodes left. So yeah, this is the beauty of summer. I'm so happy. When I got back from Paris, cause it was actually like raining a little bit in Paris when we went. But when we got back to California, it was literally like the nicest weather ever. So I'm so happy to be back. Okay, time is hand for a little. Update. I'm hoping I got a good tan in today, but now it is time to prepare for 4th of July When I'm filming this video, it's currently the 3rd So the day before the 4th, obviously by the time this video is out, the 4th will be way over But super exciting stuff, my friends and I have been planning like what we've been doing for like the past couple of weeks We've been like facetiming and talking all the time of like what clothes we're bringing and everything And it's finally here, it's tomorrow So I just took an everything body shower, feeling clean, feeling refreshed Especially after tanning too, it's like the best feeling taking a good hot shower Okay, but now it is time to pack my bag So I'll show you guys everything that I'm bringing. Also like the clothes that I'm wearing. Here's the stitch. So I have a little list on my phone, 4th of July packing list. Oh, also I changed my case and then my nails are red. So we're being so festive, but I basically just checked everything off. I laid everything on my bed. <laughs> so this is what we're looking like. I'm pretty sure I have everything. I took everything out that I have that's on the list. So while I pack my bag, I'll show you guys what I'm packing. Okay, so this is the bag that I'm bringing. It's a Herschel backpack and it's red, it's so cute. They actually sent me this during my graduation season. It's like a little gift because I'm going to stay in a CSU college 
colors are red and black. So thank you, Herschel. But it's literally perfect for the beach tomorrow. Oh yeah, I didn't even explain what I'm doing. So my friends and I are going to the beach. We're gonna be there for pretty much the whole day and then I think we're hanging out at one of Sydney's boyfriend's friend's house. I don't really know, but we're just gonna go with the flow. As long as I'm with my best friends, that's all that matters. This so is my beach bag. And I'm hoping everything, it should. Everything that I'm packing should fit in there. So let me show you guys my outfit. Okay, so obviously for the beach, I'm gonna be wearing a bathing suit. And this is the suit that I have. I actually don't know where it's from. I've had it for a while now, so I just don't remember. But it's cheetah and it's red. So there's the top. And then these are the bottoms. They're just like the string tie ones. Originally, I was gonna wear like a blue top or like a white and red, like try to do the three colors. But then I was like, screw it. This bathing suit is so cute. I love the cheetah. So bathing suit isn't really that fourth, but the rest of my outfit is. So for shorts, I'm wearing these gray ones I got from Princess Polly. They're so cute and comfy. And they have like little flowers at the bottom, but I love these. I actually want to wear them to sleep. Maybe I will. Low key, I might wear them to sleep tonight. And then over for my top, I have this USA sweater. I literally just got this from Target. It's so cute. This will just go over my bathing suit, obviously. I'll probably take it off like during the day when I'm at the beach, but then later if it gets cold, then I'll put this back on. And then I also have a change of clothes for later in the day. So I have this red tube top from Princess... Oh wait, hold on. It's backwards. <laughs> this red tube top from Princess Polly. It has a little cherry. And then these pants from Life Fox. This originally comes in a set with the matching baby tee, but I thought it's really cute and perfect for the fourth. So I'm doing a little mismatch. So they're like flare leggings. Oh, the sun is out. Hello. But I think it's so cute with the tube top. So I'm gonna wear this. And then for shoes, I'm just gonna wear my AF1s. I was gonna bring sandals, but like honestly, I think tennis shoes is the way to go. So that's that. And those are all the clothes that I'm bringing. So obviously I'm gonna show up in like my bathing suit, the shorts and the sweater. And then my pants and tube top will be in my bag to change into later. So, and then I have some blue socks. <laughs> Shout out to Rushi. These are actually her socks. There's this whole story behind it, but yeah. <laughs> okay, then I just have like a bunch of like little random things that are gonna be in my bag. So first things first, water. If you do not bring water to the beach, I don't know how you survive. I cannot forget a water bottle because well, obviously it's gonna be hot, but I don't know. I just, I don't want to die. So I'm bringing this Stanley. Super cute. I can hold it around like that. Oh, and it's a straw one. So very cute. I also have a brush. This is from Hello Kitty. <laughs> Can't forget my sun bun products. So I have the face sunscreen. It's just like the little stick. And then also the three in one leave-in conditioner. It's like a hair treatment. And then also the sea spray. My friends and I, we want to take showers later in the day. So then we want to use these for our hair. So I'm bringing them. Okay. And then for lips, this is my little essentials bag. Inside, I always have like my <laughs> a spoolie and an eyelash curler. And then I usually will like change out lip products because I love always having lippies on me. But I like to change it up sometimes. So tomorrow I'm going to be bringing this Glossier Mint Balm.com and then Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Blueberry. This is one of the new flavors too. So not flavors, shades. Yeah. I think. I don't know. But yeah, I just keep my lip products or like makeup essentials kind of in this little pouch that I got from Paris. And it's just perfect because, I don't know, sometimes I don't like having them like out and about. So they're all kept in this one little pouch and it fits. So that's that. I'm also bringing two portables. So one for my phone and then if one of my friends need it too. This one's from Case Fight and then this is from Amazon. It's super cute. You just go like that. So then gotta make sure our phones are charged. Oh, I forgot to add this one. I'll show you guys my outfits. But I also have some beads. I literally just found them in my room. Like I don't even know where these are from but I got some blue ones some red ones and I'll just put that over my bathing suit I also have some bandanas I don't really know if I'm gonna use these yet probably the blue one since my bathing suit is red but I, I don't know where to put it so we'll see I just have them for just in case okay I have a red oops I have a red claw clip this is from Emmy J it was in a rare beauty package oh look and it matches my nails but yeah I have a feeling it's gonna get pretty hot so if I want to put my hair up I have this okay I also have these sunglasses I actually got these in Spain was it two summers ago yeah I think but they're super cute they have like gold on the sides so i plan on wearing these during the day and then last but not least i have my canon g7x and this is like my favorite camera to take photos on it's just it's so good so yeah i'm definitely gonna be taking some cute pics with my friends but that's everything so i'm gonna pack it all in this bag just so that i don't have to worry about it tomorrow because it is so much smarter to pack the night before you have something obviously because then if you do it like the morning of you might forget something so i'm gonna have it ready so let's pack <laughs> All right, guys, we are all ready to go. My bag is packed. I also peep the little bananas. I just decided to put them on the side. Obviously, I'm leaving my outfit out so I can change into it tomorrow morning. But we are all ready for the fourth. I'm so excited. Hopefully, I didn't forget anything. But if I did, hopefully, I remember tomorrow morning to pack it. But I think we'll be fine. And my friends will have stuff too. So, yeah, all ready for the fourth. Time to chill. Guess what we got? Chipotle. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to eat my burrito and hang out with my mom. And she's watching DCC too. So. Do you have any advice to have a happy girl summer? Yes. My advice to you is spend a lot of time with your mom. Oh, <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> In order to have a happy girl summer, spend time with your parents, guys. <laughs> it's very true, actually. So yeah, we got sister burritos. I don't want it right now. 
Okay, this is my Chipotle order though. I get a burrito with guacamole, white rice, black beans, chicken, mild tomato, medium corn, sour cream, cheese, and lettuce. And it's so good. Fun fact, the other day I had two actually. So. In one day. <laughs> I've been really liking Chipotle. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna eat this yummy goodness and we're gonna watch. And I went through that phase too. What, Chipotle burrito? Yeah, I don't know. They're, They're so, so good. good. I like, wanted it like three times Please try it if you have it because it's really good. Do you think they skimp on the ingredients? I'm fine with mine. I feel like it's pretty good. I know, for us. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Okay, anyways. Okay, bye. All right, guys, I'm hitting the hay. Granted, it's 8.30 p.m. right now. My dad ended up coming downstairs with us to watch DCC, and then I was like, all right, peace out, guys. I'm gonna go to bed. My dad was like, girl, it's 8.30. <laughs> Today, we got a lot done, so I think my body is just tired. Also, since I did upper body and then legs and then cardio and abs today, my body is feeling it. But I hope to be sleeping by 9, and then I'm gonna wake up tomorrow at 5 to get some editing done, and then have fun with my friends for the fourth. So work hard, play hard. You guys already know. I just brushed my teeth and also did my nighttime journal. But I'm so grateful to have a lot of motivation at the moment. I feel like in order to just really enjoy summer, I'm definitely going to be prioritizing my balance. So not only hanging out with my family and friends, but also feeling good and all of the work that I do. So yeah, today was a great day, a great summer reset, but I'm going to head to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Happy 4th of July. It's obviously the next morning. Happy 4th. I just got ready for the day. Here's the final fit on. I have my little beads. But before I officially ended this video, I just wanted to quickly talk about the month of July. Kind of like what I have going on and then also my goals for this month. Okay, so... Oh my gosh, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Let me pull up my calendar so I can really like give you all the deets on this month. So July is gonna be really fun. First of all, it's literally like my only full month of summer here, like home, if that makes sense. Because August, I'm moving by the end of the month to San Diego. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. So really July is like my only full month here at home. But plans for July, obviously the fourth. Mackenzie is about to pick me up right now and then we're gonna head to the beach and have a great day. Later in this month, like I mentioned earlier, I'm taking a girls trip with my best friends. We're just doing like a little weekend trip because I know a lot of people they do like senior trips with their whole friend group and so that's kind of what we're doing it's just a little smaller though just because our schedules were really busy this summer so then we were trying to just find like a weekend to go and we did so that'll be later this month and you guys know i'll be vlogging it so stay tuned other than that my mom's birthday is also this month her birthday is the 25th so i'll be celebrating her and then i have a bunch of things for state so i have my ssu orientation later this month right now it's scheduled for like the very end of the month but we're actually trying to schedule it see if we can like a little before just because because I know August is about to be crazy and I want to pick my good classes, but I'm going to vlog all of that too. So more SDSU content is coming your way. I also have a dance camp at the end of this month. We'll be in Palm Springs and it's like just our team. And this is like the first time that I'll see the team again since the audition back in like, was it April? I think, yeah. But like I, I've met all the girls, so like I know my team, but I don't like know, know my team, you know? So like this will be the first time we're like driving there, we're staying together at the hotel and we're like getting the season started. So I'm so excited. Anything SDSU, I'm so excited right now because I just can't wait for this chapter to like officially start and it's starting so soon. So can't wait. And that's basically all like the plan things. But besides that, I'll be hanging out with my family and my friends and lots of me time. Cause again, this is my only month of summer kind of here at home. So I just really want to like take it all in and enjoy. I definitely want to be in the gym, want to go to the beach, enjoy all the yummy food that I have close to my house. That's something I've never like put into perspective. But like, as I've grown up, I've realized the area that I live in is just so nice because I'm like three minutes away from the beach and there's so many restaurants and it's especially Asian food. And I think that's why, because I love Asian food. But yeah, there's just so many good eats around here. So definitely want to take advantage before I completely move and leave to San Diego. Although I've heard there are a lot of good food spots in San Diego too. So I'll be set. But here are a few goals that I have for this month. First one is literally just to enjoy. And I feel like I've kind of said that in my other resets too, just because like with senior year ending and college starting soon, but July, like I really, really just want to remind myself to enjoy. Obviously I'm not going to be with my family and my friends for that much longer. So anytime that I'm out with them or spending quality time, like I just need to enjoy, like take pictures, take videos and everything, but also just like remind myself to be in the present moment because life is literally about to change so much and, and it's just crazy, but yeah. <laughs> I think aside from that, also to take care of myself physically, mentally, emotionally, whether it's like going to the gym or taking more dance classes or even like reminding myself to like take breaks and take a rest sometimes because I feel like it's very easy for me to like get caught up in a bunch of things, but I need to be taking care of my mental health, you know? Oh, and then this is like a smaller goal that I have, but it's definitely something I want to start implementing more, complimenting people. And that might seem like so simple, but like honestly, compliments go such a long way. So every time I'm out, I literally, I just want to like compliment people more, whether it's like, oh my God, your hair looks good, or I really like that 
that top on you? Just anything like that. I challenge you guys to do this too because I swear, even if it seems like the smallest compliment ever, like it might make someone stay. And I just, I want to start doing that more because like whenever I'm out and I hear someone compliment someone else or like I get a compliment, like it just brightens my day so much. So I, I want to start doing that to other people. So yeah, that's something that's been on like the back of my mind. I'm like, I'm going to start complimenting more people. So yeah, I think those are my main goals for July. Coming off of such a good month from June, July, I just want to like relax and be present and enjoy as much as possible. And I hope you guys can too. Remember, we are creating our hashtag happy girl summer, whatever that means to you. Obviously that label is like very <laughs> specific, but that whole phrase just means living your best life. You are thriving. You are, oh, Hi, Nicole. <laughs> Hi. You look so pretty. Wow. Thank you. Hi, mommy. Hi. I'm just talking about my goals for July. More goals. <laughs> I'm trying to live a happy girl summer. Duh. No, I was explaining though, like, happy girl summer can obviously mean so many things. Like, if you're a boy, happy boy summer, you know, all this stuff. Sure. Um, insert. Yeah. Happy mom me, summer. Ha happy mom summer. Exactly. <laughs> but for me, it's just like living my best life and thriving because. And you've been. Oh, it's it's been fun to watch. Thanks. I like this on you. Thank you. It's so cute. Yeah, cash, but cute. Okay. <laughs> oh, aren't you and dad going out today? Yeah, we're bike riding. So cute. They have their own 4th of July plans. We have a day date. We're so, so excited. Nice. Can we leave you? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Max picking me up in like 20, so. Okay. I got sandwiches for everybody. Thanks. They're downstairs. You got my text? Yeah. Okay. Okay, love you. Okay. Have fun. <laughs> text me, okay? Have a happy mom summer. Have a happy girl summer. Thanks, girl. Uh, what you call it? Just, you know, cover up it. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. <laughs> Fine, okay? Okay. Be safe. Make good choices. Love, love. Okay? You too. What? No. No I promises. Have a mini okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Okay, well, on that note, that's going to the end of today's reset video. I hope you guys had a great June, and I hope you have an even better July. And I hope you guys had a good fourth. I'm about to celebrate it with my friends. So I hope today's a good day. But if you guys stayed till the end of this video, comment down below. Should we do red, white, and blue heart emojis? <laughs> Just spam the comments with all of these hearts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to the family channel. And turn on all the post notifications. I'll see you guys back with another video. I love you guys so, so much. Stay positive. Bye. Happy July. Oh,